today we drink for freedom we drink for the ability of a man to pee wherever he wishes without repercussion we and that sounds too r kelly-ish dang that ruins the whole freedom vibe doesn't it What is going on everyone? Josh here, half ass Beer Review, and today we have a new beer. I'd like to apologize for the intro because I had a whole spiel out and then R. Kelly just kind of hooked in there. It's just like Remix to Ignition, you know? It's got a nice hook to it and it just pulls you in. You don't want to like it anymore because you know what the man did, but you just, you just can't help yourself. It's the Remix to Ignition popping fresh out the kitchen, right? This is a can of Fresh Cut Mango, a mango tart ale from Against the Grain Brewing Company. 5.9% ABV uh, Against the Grain Brewing Company is out of Louisville, Kentucky, which I always confuse with Knoxville. But this is Fresh Cut Mango, the mango of beers. Mango is universally known as the king of fruits, and this beer is the king, the king's throne. Fresh cut mango is a golden chalice full of mango sweetness with a subtle kiss of tartness that balances the crown jewel. Delicious, bright, and so fresh that you'll believe we climbed a mango tree for your majesty. I love their artwork. I love the name against the grain. It's very punk rock. Love punk rock stuff. And all of their artwork is pretty solid. It's, it's pretty cool jungle atmosphere. Birds, toucans, all sorts of wild birds on it. I'm into it. Birds are cool. Birds used to be dinosaurs what's not to love uh let's crack this beer let's look at it pour it look at it smell it taste it and see what it's got going on i love mangoes holy crap look at that all right so this is kind of goofy is this it's got to be overly carbonated for me to pour because you can pour all beers hard some of them the head takes off like this some of it doesn't this one the head took off look how look how little of a head it is right but now it's already kind of growing right it started off this and now it's there so uh cue the jeopardy music <clears throat> did you know that th this is kind of gross but when your beer has a huge head on it you can take your fingers rub them on your nose because the human skin is so oily and you can rub it around the rim of your glass and the head is in and the finger so oily that it starts to diminish the head in the beer quicker again this has been a segment of gross shit you don't ever need to do because i've already done it and i will probably do it again but i didn't do it this time i promise all right here we go look at this we made it we made it past the 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 head fading and the beer growing phase but look at this thing it it mango is the perfect description for it it's got a very nice golden color to it like you cut open a fresh mango maybe a little darker a uh, little tinted head on it right like a golden and tinted head nice maltiness to the smell a little bit of mango and they're not overly sweet right i'm hoping it's a nice tartness i'm hoping it's not anything that like ruins the beer for me Let's try this beer. As always on Half-Ass Beer Review, we do a little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's very tart. Very, very tart. There's some kind of chemical that they put in beers. Not chemical, but there's an ingredient in beers that they put in there that makes it sour when it's a sour beer like this this thing is puckering sour super mangoey super sour this thing's awesome i wouldn't say it's like super refreshing because of like the sourness on it uh but small drinks awesome drinks mangoey sour drinks it's so more sour than like a sour patch kit it's it's like i'd say it's twice as sour as a sour patch kit that's on the sour scale. That's my sour scale. The sour scale is the sour patch sour scale when it comes to drinking beer. Take another drink. Yeah, it's super, super tart. Um, the tartness is almost like, like a uh, more sour goza. Okay, so this is one that I love. The sourness is great. I wouldn't want to drink more than one of them. It almost... 
All right, so the mango is really delicious. The sourness is awesome, but the sourness almost cuts the mango off towards the end of the drink. And after the swallow is gone, you're just kind of left with just like this sour tropicalness and the mango isn't part of it. Like it's very the smallest part of it, but this is, this is awesome. I love beers that are super sour. This one doesn't get ruined by anything. It's pretty awesome. Mango, uh, fresh cut mango is solid. Now that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out another beer with me. Against the Grain does it again. Fresh cut mango, mango tart ale, super sour. It's mangoey. I am really enjoying this beer. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel right? Become a beer drinking buddy with me. I won't mind it. If you have any questions, if you've had this beer before, if you like sour beers, let me know down in the comments. If you don't like sour beers, let me know down in the comments. Let's start the conversation about beer. While you're at it, check out my friends Banter and Babble for the best pop culture wrap up of the week every Wednesday night on Twitch. And my friend Drassin the Dungeon Master, the best Dungeon Master around for Dungeons and Dragons Monday nights, 7 o'clock on Twitch. The links are down there. You won't be disappointed. And always remember to keep your fridges full and have a great night. Try this. <clears throat>